Hi, I'm Mel and I'm Double Pisces Tarot. And today I'm doing a reading for Pisces. So today it is the 30th of November, 2023 in the time, 1.15 p.m. Just remember, this is a Pisces collective reading. So take what resonates and leave the rest. But if you're watching this video, there are messages for you in it. Even though I did say the date, this is a timeless reading. So whenever you're watching this video is when you're supposed to receive the messages. Okay, let's see what's in Pisces energy today. Messages for Pisces. Poverty. First card of the reading. Someone's feeling out in the cold. This could be you. This could be somebody else. We've got message of concern. So I feel this person's coming in with something surprising then we have wealthy man so just remember tarot has no gender so when i talk male female king queen it is energy you know so masculine feminine masculine's more of you know like a leader feminine is more nurturing official person so there's someone coming in with a message and i feel like it's this wealthy man so masculine energy as i said um a bit of a traveler someone that may have a bit of money this person's dressed to the nines ready to meet you that's all i can see when i look at him in that clothing but this person i feel there could be no contact between you and them with this poverty card coming out this person looks like they're working hard for nothing or for barely anything so someone that's a hard worker, they've worked really hard to get where they, they are. Let's see what's in the energy today for Pisces. Messages for Pisces today. My goodness, I don't know if you heard that car backfiring death so there was an ending in your energy an ending of a relationship a friendship the two of wands making a decision whether to leave a situation you're at a crossroads You've got the eight of swords The options in front of you, I feel, is making you imprisoned in the mind. You've got the well in reverse. Someone that's action taking, you know, with the well in reverse, you know, the well, she's sitting there um, in solitude, connecting with herself, connecting with the divine. But to me, it's like you're moving forward, like taking action, not sitting back, um, taking control, not letting go of control. We've got strength. Leo energy in the center of your reading. Then you have the seven of pentacles. The queen of cups. Pisces energy. In the future, you're ready to give love. Got the Eight of Cups. You're contemplating whether this new path is 
right for you. It's a long journey to start again. And then you've got justice. On the back of the deck, the Nine of Cups and the Hermit. Virgo energy. Okay, we're going to grab out some clarifiers now and see what we can find out on this tarot. But there is some type of ending, you know, as I said, a relationship, a friendship. This person could have Scorpio in their chart. They don't have to. Looks to me like there's a bit of depression. There was a bit of sadness after this ending. What's death for Pisces? So you have the four of laurels. This could have been someone you didn't want to let go of, someone that you could have been a bit obsessed with. There could have been a bit of codependency. You've got the nine of wands, but I feel with the nine of wands coming out, you may have always been in sort of like a defensive um, energy with this person got the Ten of Cups, so this could be someone that you're connecting with, someone that is part of your family, someone, you know, that you are married with. Take what resonates, Pisces. On the back of the deck, you've got the Six of Wands. But I feel like this is leading you down a new path, and this new path is leading you towards victory. So what is the Two of Wands? So you have the moon. So I feel you're leaving that past. There was some type of ending. Now you've got to make a choice. You're at some type of crossroads, not knowing what the future brings with the moon card coming out, Pisces Cancer energy. We've got the magician, Virgo energy, and the ace of wands. So I feel like you could be letting go of someone that has cancer or Pisces or Virgo in their chart and you're choosing a new path you were at some type of crossroads but I feel like there's something that you're passionate about with the ace of wands there's a new start happening in your life when you take this new path this is something you've been manifesting so you know this could be love this could be money you know take what resonates for you but you're you're going down a new path now I feel, and leaving that past behind. So you're going to move along into success. But even though I feel you are taking this new path, you're still wondering if this is the right way to go or not. So for the Eight of Swords, you've got the Six of Laurels. So giving to the right things now. Someone could have been breadcrumbing you in the past. This could be still affecting you, the way this person treated you. Got the Knight of Wands. And the Two of Cups. We got the Knight of Wands coming out. So you could be giving to somebody else. We've got the Knight of Wands, as I said, Fire Energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Could be in this person's chart. Um, this person could come in and out of your life, but I feel like you're now giving to this person. You're not giving to that past energy. And I feel with this Two of Cups coming out, this is someone that is supposed to be in your life, a soulmate. You could be different nationalities. You could be opposite to each other. To me, that... Um, that card always just reminds me of like opposite, like the two opposites coming together to make a whole, like one whole. But I feel like you're giving to this person now. With the Knight of Wands coming out, this person has a lot of passion for you. This person's very attracted to you. But this is someone that comes in and out of your life um, as to why you feel imprisoned in your mind over giving to this person now. But I feel... This is going to lead to success. So 
So what's the well in reverse? Got the chariot. So an action taker, as I said, there's travel, movement, the chariot coming out, cancer energy. And you're moving towards a success and celebration with the four of wands coming out. There could be a marriage, a commitment coming in your future with this energy that I feel you're in your head over. And then you've got judgment. So being an action taker, there's some type of judgment call that's going to come towards you. So judgment, Scorpio energy, but I feel like it's something good because we've got the four of ones. So you're moving towards success. As I said, this could be with someone that has earth in their chart, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. They could be someone that's your age or a lot older. They don't have to be. This person's just mature in the mind. Someone that is connected to the earth. I feel also this person is someone that's successful. You know, in what they do in their world. What is strength? Got the king of laurels. The Seven of Laurels, there's another one, and the Five of Swords. Okay, so Strength, Leo Energy. King of Laurels, this is this other person's energy. With the Five of Swords, this person could have made you walk away. And I feel like this is making this person sit in contemplation and look at this, this progress that's happened. With the King of Laurels coming out, Earth Energy, as I said, this could be this person that's coming into your life, this newer energy. Now, as I said, they could be from your past. They've been, they've been in your life. It looks like they've left in the past but to me they've come back and there's some type of slow progress that is going on but there is still progress i feel this person is feeling like with the strength card coming out leo energy could be in this person's chart but i feel like this person is needing the strength um, to move forward after making you walk away from this situation this person is in their own head about, about this relationship, this commitment. But, you know, that six of wands keeps coming out on the back of the deck. So sixes could be significant. Sixes uh, reflect. So reflect to see if this is part of the path that you, you know, want to take in the future. If this is part of the goal that you're, you're looking towards in the future. Because we do have... You know, the Seven of Pentacles coming out. So some type of contemplation energy. What is the Seven of Pentacles? You know, I feel like you and this person are mirroring each other. Both being in your head about the situation. So you have the Four of Swords. So for the Seven of Pentacles... I feel like you're looking at the progress that's made. There's been slow progress, but you're not making, doing any action. I feel like because you are healing from a situation in your life. This is also stability with the Four of Swords coming out. And then you got the Ace of Laurels. So... With the Ace of Laurels and the Seven of Pentacles, that makes eight pentacles. So there's some type of work, some type of teamwork that's going to happen, I feel, in the future with this person. I feel like you're just trying to heal at the moment. Um, you are fighting for yourself. I feel there may be a few things going on in your life um, as to why you're not taking a lot of action, but there's going to be something coming in to make eight pentacles and there's going to be some type of work 
coming. You know, if this is something in the material world, if this is something in a relationship, you know, take what resonates for you. Pisces. But there's something you're looking at. You're sitting back, looking at it, wondering if this is going to work. And it's going to because you're going to get like some type of message from divine from this person. To me, there's some type of message of concern coming that is going to bring in like an extra coin and there's going to be some work going on between you and somebody else. As I said, if this is a relationship or if this is something in the material world, material world, I mean like with career, work. Okay. So I'm going to grab all the clarifiers out to do the future energy. Re you're really looking at the situation logically, trying to work it out. I feel like you're going in inside and trying to find the answers. What's the Queen of Cups for Pisces? Got the Six of Cups. The Ten of Wands. And the Ace of Laurels. So this coin or this person coming in wanting to collaborate with you, they could have earth in their chart virgo capricorn taurus i feel like this person could also have water pisces cancer scorpio but they want to give some type of new start she reminds me of you know this queen of pentacles this is some type of soulmate someone that there could be a past with you and them there could be a past lifetime but there's some type of burden that I feel this person's holding on to. I feel like he's going to drop those wands. This person's going to drop the burden and then they're going to come and confess something to you. Um, this is something that is heaven sent from divine. This person wants to give you their love. Um, as we've got the Queen of Cups coming out, I feel like they want your love also. And with the Five of Cups coming out on the back of the deck, there's someone I feel in the shadows watching everything, like another energy around you. I feel like you can feel this energy. I could feel it in the reading. As to why I feel you're in like a contemplation energy, because you can feel this person's energy, you can feel this person thinking and thinking about you. you know, you're on this person's mind as to why you can't get them out of your head. Because I feel like you're ready to start this new thing. You want the new to come. You know what you desire in this life. Um, I feel like this past was a lesson for you. What's the Eight of Cups? Starting new was always hard. Uh, you could have had this past person in your life for a while. Starting new, you always got to start, you know, from the bottom up again. And, you know, to me, you're in this contemplation of, oh, do I really have to do that all again? I got to start all again. What's the Eight of Cups? We've got the three of laurels but there's going to be someone or others that are going to help you there's someone that is watching you that is wanting to collaborate wanting to come in and help you out with something this person admires you from the background this person's like crushing on you got judgment scorpio energy And then we've got the five of laurels.
you're gonna have to make a choice in the future there's as i said i could feel another energy that's feeling like in that five of cups in regret over what was lost in the past I feel like they want to come in and say something to you. I, I feel while you're just about to start some type of new adventure, leaving that past situation, this person could have ghosted you, left you in the dark with the five of laurels coming out. But they want to come in and tell you something. I feel like... You know, you are starting something new, Pisces, but this person's going to want to try and stop it before you start moving along this new journey. And I feel like you're going to have to make a decision because we've got justice coming out. What's justice? Got the five of wands. Some type of conflict. I feel there's going to be competition. You know, and you're going to give to the right people with the justice and the six of laurels. You know, that's both the scales, both a balance. You know, you're giving to the right people. I feel like with balance also it reminds me of that yin yang. So you could be giving to this new energy and, you know, you're giving to that new cup of love, something new, something that's come out of the heavens and with it raining in the background, there could be a lot of emotion and sadness in your life. Uh, but this is like something that divines came and bring you to, I feel, give you what you deserve, you know, give you that karma call. But there's going to be some type of competition. And I feel like you're going to make a decision on giving to the right people. And, um, you know, that is your choice. In the end, Pisces, who you give to. But I don't feel in the cards, it's this old energy. I feel like you're moving on from that. So you have the Nine of Cups and the Hermit coming out. To me, you're starting a new path. You're being the hermit, you could be not talking to many people about this new path you're taking, but there's someone wanting to stop you, someone that's watching. What's the Nine of Cups? So you have Temperance, Sagittarius Energy. There's a wish fulfillment coming in, something you've manifested. Uh, celebration threes could be significant threes are abundance and then you've got the ten of wands you're still holding on to something i feel you need to let go for this new new opportunity this new wish fulfillment that's coming in towards you with temperance coming out you need to let go because how holding those 10 ones is not balancing your life you need to balance your life to have this celebration come in there's something that you need to let go of there could be someone you're still holding on to because you still feel their energy something that caused a tower moment but this was you know this was knocked down because this wasn't truthful this person's wearing a mask this person was lying on your tower you know and you have protection from you know divine and the angels you know they shut this person down you can't be unfaithful untruthful you know, lying cheating stealing around pisces because you're going to get shut down Okay, so now you've got the Hermit. What is the Hermit? So you've got the Page of Cups, the Page of Swords. So 
someone that's watching so i sorry someone that's watching you could have virgo in their chart this person that's watching you they could be watching you online something that you've left you know in divine's hands you've let go of control of the situation and you've moved on from it because you want some type of balance in your life this person could have aquarius in their chart there's someone that's wanting to come in this person that's watching you could be an age difference they could have water in their chart but they're wanting to come in with something there's something in that cup so they want to come in and show you that they're coming in with something to try and keep you because this person's watching you they're watching your every move but i feel like you've let go of control of that situation and you're following your path now but this is something that's going to arise i feel on the new path that you're taking but i feel like you're going to follow you're going to keep following you know that coin, that star. They both remind me of the same thing, like the five of pentacles energy being left out in the cold, ghosted, no contact. So there's no contact, I feel, between you and this person. I feel like there's a wish fulfillment coming in. And this person's being left out in the cold. Okay. So we're going to do some fortune telling cards now for the collective. We'll do three piles. So pick your pile. Or piles. You can pick more than one. Pile number one, two, and three. Okay, so pile number one. Do not brood over what has passed. Forget it. Number two. Do not despair that wealth has not already come to you. It is on the way. Okay, so this may have not come in. The money may have not come in. That just flipped. I'll do that one also for number one. It'll only make you ill to nurse past grievances. So, you know, these emotions, you know, feel them and then let them go. As much as it hurts that people could have manipulated you and make you angry, that's people done that to you. You know, feel the emotion, but then let it go. You know, this person, as I always say, these people have things wrong with themselves. It's got nothing to do with you. They're just like projecting, you know, their shadow, the things that they need to work on. Okay, so keep doing you, Pisces. And then we've got number three. Boldly grasp the happiness that is offered you. It will last. Okay. So we're going to do a music message now for the collective. So we'll do one card in the back of the deck. One card for Pisces. I don't want a lover, Texas. And on the back of the deck, Dia Maka, Led Zeppelin. So listen to those songs. They will have messages for you in them, Pisces. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you all for coming to my reading. If this is your first time, welcome. Just remember all my readings are timeless. So if you ever want to check out my channel, there is a playlist for Pisces. I do have other playlists too, so check those out. I thank you all for watching, liking, subscribing, being here every day, sharing your energy. It means so much just having you here every day. Um, I love checking the energy for Pisces all over the world. I love connecting um, with you all. And I love seeing that Pisces is moving on from that manipulative energy as much as you could be annoyed that this person did this to you. You know, you are going to get what you deserve in the future if you just keep following the path, you know, your path. 
So I hope you all have a great day or night wherever you are in the world and I'll see you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye.